of Heart Theater. This is a special edition of WeatherScope. Comprehensive coverage of Hurricane Fran from the Weather Channel. Hurricane Fran has made landfall in North Carolina. We have continuing coverage, a very dangerous hurricane, continuing to pound the beaches not far from Wilmington with winds of over one occasionally. But since we talked to you last, we continue to see the overwash waters arise around the hotel, and they've been very high. I want to show you what else has happened, too. This is shot just a few minutes ago here, and we fed it back to you. This is unedited video of some sailboats that were ripped from their moorings. I mean, these aren't just small craft. We're talking 16, 20, perhaps 25-foot that per, perhaps were about three, four hundred yards away uh, when they started next to the dock a little bit while uh, a little while ago before these hurricane force winds moved in, and they've been torn from their moorings and uh, now have been pushed very very close to the road here, which is ahead of our hotel. Now the rains have let up considerably here. We're still in the eye wall, but we're still getting some pretty gusty winds. But instead of having the wind at my back and blowing me around all over the place, the force of the winds is now kind of behind the hotel. So I'm pretty much high and dry, but as we come out of this video, uh, you can see one of the boats maybe a little fuzzy behind you. We're giving you live footage of that boat. Uh, this is the 25-footer back there. It's probably about maybe 25 feet from the road. A lot of the water seems to have started to come down a little bit, and if you see that big pole dangling there, that is the light post, uh, or what's left of it, I should say, compliments of uh, Hurricane Fran. Mike, just to kind of wrap here, this has been a tremendous experience uh, for the last several hours to watch this thing really increase. But if I were to just kind of give it a consensus as what's going to what has happened, this is probably one of the worst tidal flooding storms in eastern North Carolina in quite some time, and I think that we're going to find that out tomorrow. And Jim, we want to remind folks that uh, what they're seeing there is not the uh, Atlantic, but the intercoastal waterway. So you're uh, right. a few miles inland. So that makes it even more impressive, the fact that that's the intercoastal waterway. And that water we saw in the video is lapping right up to the buildings. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it, I mean, it's, it's amazing how fast the water can rise. I mean, we, were, we walked over to the marina when we first got here. We walked up toward the causeway. We walked down the streets. An hour later, we're almost surrounded by water. I mean, that's just how fast it rose. Okay, and what about the situation with those boats? Now, I mentioned earlier, those boats were moored, and then the wind uh, whipped them off their moorings, or uh, were they uh, just blown around near their dockings? No, I think, I think they were totally torn from their moorings, and the prevailing east wind uh, definitely took them this way, which is toward us. Because if you remember when I was broadcasting here, we had all the rain and wind coming this way at me. So that's exactly the way that they blew the boats as well. Now the wind has shifted a little bit more out of the southeast, and everything's going that way. And I'm kind of wondering uh, where those boats may be perhaps an hour from now. But the good news is some of the water is starting to come down a little bit, and maybe we've seen uh, some of the worst of this overwash. Well, let's hope so, Jim, not only for you, yeah. but for all the uh, property owners and homeowners around the Wrightsville Beach area. That's Jim Cantori reporting live. Jim, uh, hang tight there. We'll be checking back with you throughout this evening uh, from Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. Now, let's give you the latest as far as the satellite imagery is concerned. This is uh, the view. And remember, the bright colors indicating those higher or colder cloud tops. And if you look closely, you can see that little white dot making landfall about an hour and a half ago in eastern North Carolina. Now, the clouds extending all the way back now towards the Appalachians, and that is going to be the other story. We're talking about a lot of tropical moisture, and it's going to get wrung out. And the mountains add what we call an orographic lift. As that air comes up towards the mountains, it goes up. And as air rises, we get cooling, condensation, and even more rainfall. So even though the story right now is certainly uh, the beaches of the Carolinas, and especially southeastern North Carolina and Hanover, New Hanover and Brunswick County, uh, the problem down the road is going to be up here. For instance, those of you watching around Roanoke, anywhere along the Skyline Drive, the Shenandoah Valley in Virginia, into the mountain state of West Virginia, and then into New England. Those of you tonight watching in New York, Boston, Washington, Philadelphia, are going to take part in this storm between now and the weekend. The rain, not the wind, but the rain. And if you're in a flood-prone area, uh, be advised and stay with us here at the Weather Channel. We'll certainly keep you updated as that situation develops. Back, though, to the uh, certainly the uh, clear and present danger here is Hurricane Fran. And you can probably, if you look closely, uh, find the eye of the hurricane right about here. And uh, that's where Joe Brown has been sitting over in Bolivia. Now, that is a town south, southwest of Wilmington on Highway 17. But also notice the northern eye walls where we've seen the heavier rains all evening long. These bright colors indicating rainfall rates of one to two inches an hour. That's what you've seen in Wilmington. 
and just got the latest dive from Wilmington at the airport. You've had a gust to 71 miles an hour from the southeast. So with that wind coming in from the southeast, that would indicate that the eye is likely going to pass just off to your west, and that is certainly the location as of 10 o'clock tonight Eastern Time. But look at all the rain now. And let me give you an idea of the uh, state line. If you can see at the state line right here, South Carolina, North Carolina, there's the coast. This is Cape Fear, basically where it came in around Southport. And so far, uh, the rains have really been tremendous in these areas. We'll show you, or we'll try to show you later, a Doppler radar estimate. But back in the interior, as you get up towards the Triad area, up around Chapel Hill and the Raleigh-Durham area, heavy rainfalls. In fact, Raleigh, so far at RDU at the Raleigh-Durham airport, 1.32 inches of rain and a whole lot more to come easily. You could see five or more inches of rain tonight as Fran continues to spin on shore with its rain and associated risk of tornadoes. We've had a bit of a change now in the warnings. The warnings have been dropped south of Cape Remain down to Edisto as of 9 Eastern, but the uh, warnings continue up from the North Carolina-Virginia border south to Cape Remain. That includes the Outer Banks and the Sounds. And right now, with that wind coming in from the southeast across the Pamlico and Albemarle Sounds, no doubt we're going to have some flooding on the western side of the sounds. And that is, uh, once again, another story, the coastal flooding, the storm surge. Hurricane force winds covering all the beaches, Wrightsville Beach, all the way up towards uh, the Moorhead City area. You're getting hurricane force wind gusts. And we'll be watching those winds slowly subside as the evening goes on as Fran is cut off from its energy source, the warm Atlantic Ocean, the Gulf Stream waters. And don't forget the friction, the friction of the land, the trees, the buildings kind of tear apart at the storm. There's your wind gusts to 85 miles an hour at Wilmington, North Carolina. And the storm surge uh, continuing to be a big problem. Even as we speak, we're still getting that onshore flow, and that is piling the water up. Remember, the winds are coming this way. The storm is moving this way, so it's, it's A plus B, and uh, that is giving uh, the uh, kind of the double whammy effect in this area, whereas over around Myrtle Beach, where Jeff Morrow is, the winds are blowing offshore. And for those of you watching from the Myrtle Beach area or anywhere in South Carolina, and you have property or beachfront property, especially east of Highway 17 or Highway 17 bypass, uh, the good news is tonight, the wind is blowing offshore, and there has been very little, uh, based on what Jeff is telling us, very little problems with tidal flooding. Jill Brown has really had the, uh, the big spot tonight. She's been in the eye of Hurricane Fran. Earlier, the winds were roaring at Jill's doors there at the uh, firehouse there in Bolivia, North Carolina. But now, Jill, tell us, has the uh, opposing side of the eye wall returned? And it hasn't quite yet. We have moved to the opposite side of the building to a safer location. So we're on the north side of the building anticipating those strong south uh, winds coming in. And we're just beginning to feel them a little bit. I can notice that the temperature is dropping a little bit. We're just beginning to feel those winds coming in, a little bit more rain. And they're telling me that on the opposite side, opposite side of the building, you can actually hear the winds a lot more than you can right over here. So we're still in the eye. We're kind of holding steady for the time being. We've been in the eye for more than an hour now, so I'm kind of surprised. We must have cut it right down the middle. But uh, again, things are kind of quiet. So as we wait for the eye wall to come back in, which shouldn't take too much longer, uh, I want to talk to Sheriff uh, Ronald Hewitt of Brunswick County. And he's been standing by, been watching things through the evening. Can you tell me what kind of things you've heard from around the county tonight? Well, it's been quite a busy day today, Jill. We started out early with evacuations. We have about 1,700 people in uh, shelters throughout Brunswick County right now. Our early assessment that we have got seems very optimistic. So at this time, we are uh, feeling very blessed. It's certainly not over. And uh, we're in a holding pattern, and we're going to be assessing damage later into the evening and early into the morning hours. So what is the plan for the rest of the night? Just kind of hold steady and wait to see what happens as we get the other side of the eye wall? In Brunswick County, North Carolina, we are in a holding pattern, and we will hold steady and get out there and see what kind of damage we do have, make sure that the citizens are safe. At this time, we have no reports of injury or loss of life, so we feel very blessed in southeastern North Carolina tonight. All right, Sheriff Hewitt, thank you very much for joining us, thank and hopefully you. as we get to the other side, we'll be doing just as well. We'll be checking back with you again later, see how things are going. Thank you. Okay, well, John and Mike got things nice and quiet. They haven't done too badly here in Brunswick County. The winds, of course, were blowing over 100 miles per hour, a lot of reports of tree damage, some high water here and there, but as the sheriff reported, no reports really of injuries, uh, no reports of any fatalities. Uh, they may really luck out here in spite of the fact that they see the eye wall coming right over. 
Okay, Jill Brown, that's uh, good news uh, hearing there from the officials there in Brunswick County, uh, North Carolina, that so far no injuries, no fatalities, everybody uh, heeding those warnings, obviously, in that area. Jill, we'll be checking back with you in the bottom of the hour. By that point, you'll probably uh, be feeling the uh, effects of the other side of the eye of Hurricane Fran. Well, they are saying now, do you think this was just a rumor? It's been, we've been in the eye for so long, it seems like it's not coming back. But, of course, we know that it will. So we'll be kind of holding tight and waiting for that. No, based on radar, Jill, another few minutes, and you'll uh, be getting back into the heavy rainfall. Jill, thanks for the update from Bolivia, North Carolina. Jill Brown, as we continue our live coverage on Hurricane Fran, we will uh, stay with it throughout the uh, night here at the Weather Channel from Atlanta. We've got uh, Jill Brown there in uh, Bolivia, up the beach at Wrightsville Beach. We have uh, Jim Cantori and Jeff Morrow from Myrtle Beach. South Carolina. Big story tonight here on the Weather Channel. The other story will be the heavy rainfalls. We've touched base on that, but that is really going to be a serious problem. We can't uh, certainly underestimate the tropical rains. If you remember Agnes back in 72, uh, maybe not that serious, certainly, but we want to pull.